Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're here in the system of Mammoth, we're again searching for clone soldiers. We've not had too much luck in doing this, we've only found one so far, we've been here for quite a while. We're going to do uh, a bit of a run here, let's see if we can find anything spicy, buzzard, so we're quite safe here it seems. Cloaking device can be good to activate soon. Keep an eye on the D-scan, we've got that buzzard who's actually quite close i should have been more observant when it came to the uh the overview i had the asteroid belt tab on okay so we decloaked here align to this next one i'm gonna absolutely destroy them we have a tiny bit of armor i'm missing actually so we can do a little cheeky cycle here and then we can also, at the same time as we're doing this, do some product discovery. Always good to do that. It's good to grind these belts because the thing is, when we destroy a spawn, a new one will spawn, and then there's always a chance that that could be the clone soldier spawn. It's good that we just go through the spawns, even though it does take a bit of time. And another benefit is that since this is a 200% bounty risk modifier system, we get quite a bit of bounties as well. Okay, who is this on the D-scan? Gamma, oh, Let's move, get out of here. We do not want to mess with that guy. That guy is going to absolutely wreck us. It felt a little bit like the, the scanning guy was there with the buzzard. And then as soon as... Uh, as soon as they then... Oh, what was the sound? Never mind, there was nothing. As soon as he saw me, then he's like, Okay, let's take the Garma in. The Garma looking for trouble here. Lefty guns. And we can see here, if we go and show info... Mine is 1.9, obviously. Obviously, this guy, let's see that lefty guns. See what kind of stuff we've got here. Is he hunting people? Yep, yeah, he's hunting people, different types of people, mainly miners, in fact. He's destroyed a lot of small stuff here and there in the low six systems around Amar. See here, for example, he destroyed a Gila. And what did he use? He used. Oh, he used a heavy assault cruiser, okay. So I wonder what he's doing, he's just chilling there. We can product discovery in the meantime. Warp to these belts as well, we can cycle through the belts, see if we find anything. And then if we do find something, we can then go and destroy that clone soldier. Oh, he's gone now, okay, that's good. Oh, never mind, there's someone here. John Skymaster, is this that guy that we had before? He doesn't seem to be too dangerous in terms of security status, but you never know. I feel like that is possibly someone who is acting as like a scout because he just joins the second the other guy left. Let's hope there's no scheming going on here. Okita, okay, that's a big hauler. That's what this guy is doing, hauling stuff. So don't think I'm too worried about that. The system of Mammoth is a bit of a like a hub system, so there's a lot of adjacent systems. You're going to be finding a lot of people warping in and out. Warp to the next belt. See if we can grind some more NPCs. It's nice also if we can find easy to kill NPCs. Hard to kill NPCs, the battleships, they take a little bit of time to destroy, but they're also good because they don't take too long. They give good bounties also, because we're able to apply fully to them. It's even peaceful now in the system, that's good, perfect. Warp around. What kind of isk? 93 million isk, that's pretty good isk we've got here. What is the big cash we've got? We've got some bounty prizes not so long ago, that's probably what affected it. Okay, so we've got some a battleship here. Always good to take them out. One armor repair cycle. I feel very relaxed here now that we've not got any NPCs in the or enemies in the system. One million tick from product discovery. Always nice to have. Every five minutes you get a tick from these. Cruisers are a little bit diff more difficult to apply to. 700 damage. What is that ammunition? Oh, we're low on ammunition. We need to get more ammunition. We should probably, since we're going a little bit cheap here, carry some carry quite a bit more Kaldari Navy and then we can also just fill the rest of the cargo with tech ones just in case you know just as a backup everything is fully stocked used after because these guys are gonna go crazy on me 
Great, now for the next one. Enslaver seems to be the one that's catching up to me pretty quickly. Oh, they warped off. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes the NPCs, they do actually like to just flee like that. Got some of those cruisers here. Or oh, battle cruisers. They're even easier to take out. Two shot, that's pretty nice. Nothing here, just this bad stuff we're finding. These frigates and destroyers. Let's see what's in the next one. But take out the big stuff because the frigates give them negligible bounties. No clone soldiers? Ah, unfortunate. What about here? Oh, uh, I thought this was one big one, but that was two separate clusters of those cells over there. It does become quite frustrating when you do a lot of these, you don't find anything, it's like, oh, it feels like you're accomplishing nothing. But sometimes you will, eventually you will. And when you do, it's going to be very, very nice, very spicy. Oh, 1.4 million, it's tick from the product discovery, that's nice. Oh, well, look at that, we've got so many bigger NPCs here, let's just destroy them. I prefer to at least destroy the battleships because they give quite a bit more bounties, but this, in this case it's quite a bad battleship. They're not a good battleship, only 500k, so that's a very low for battleship. So I'm guessing one shot is going to do a lot, yeah, like almost all the shields from one shot. Oh, left the guns back. That's the guy who had uh, the Garm, I believe. So we're going to have to be careful here. Scan a bit. Seems to be back for business. And look at that, just these destroys. They can be easy to take out, but I prefer to not destroy any of the... Alright, uncloak. If this guy is here, because this guy is going to obliterate us straight away. The thing is, like, Karma is so fast, so long range, and it's got really long warp disruption range, so you, it can always keep up with you, and even then, even if it keeps up with you, it can... Uh, always uh, keep you there so you can't warp off and then on top of that is really fast so that you can't hit it properly the main downside of the gamma is low tank and it's not got crazy amounts of dps that's good when you keep a little bit of a low profile you could cloak up it's nice you can still warp around and not raise any suspicion ah just these destroyers oh there's people here who've been destroying them Oh, who was it? Tigerfish. Seems to be someone who's also searching for the clone soldiers. Destroyed. Let's go for the last one here. Although oh, it's not the last one, it's the first belt. We're just going back a little bit. Ooh, six million tick. Nice to see, nice to see. Ah, oh, nothing. This person's got 5.0 security status, so I don't think it's going to be too bad. And a hellhound. A Macarial could be a nice ship to do this kind of stuff because the Macarial is able to warp very fast and with the artillery guns or modifying auto cannons, you can get some pretty good range so you can hit everything. Just warp very quickly and destroy everything super fast at the same time as well. I think an Eagle would be quite a nice ship because it's able to use rail guns and able to get a very good range. You just warp in, blap everything and then peace out. And you get so good range that you could probably barely have to really tank much the clone soldiers you just destroy them straight away important to keep an eye on local just in case you know, just in case i remember i once did this stuff in aguila and it wasn't too nice in uh, nullsec that is it wasn't too nice because the drones had to travel and it was took quite a long time until you could actually get to the targets Omen navy issue could be an alternative to an omen that is a bit more beefed up omen but it's not as expensive as, say, a Zealot. Oh, my Navy issue. How much does it cost? 46 million, okay. Heavy beam laser. Because they can get some pretty good range on the over Navy issue. Could be good for this. Okay, there's nothing here either. You know what, guys? We're going to have to take a break here because we didn't find anything. Probably next time we'll go back to Amar Space and sell our clone soldier tank because... It seems like we're not having a too good time encountering these guys here. Can definitely be better than what we're encountering now, but this is also very common as well at the same time to have these bad streaks like we're doing now. 
doing going through so many battles and not really finding anything to be honest we haven't cleared so many belts in and of themselves but some you can often find them by just going from belt to belt but it increases the likelihood of encountering these guys if you clear the belts at the same time as well dock up here good okay this is what we've got here and we can sell this and then we i think we've got just enough to get the naga we'll see and go to Alma. Got a few low stack systems to go through. Is there a way to go a little bit safer? You can go a little bit safer where we're this way. So we could try that, to be honest. It is like that sometimes. Next time we'll sell this dang loot and maybe get started with the Naga. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.